exhibition on one of the world's most famous artists will play out here for three months, replacing this year's cancelled pantomime. It's a bit of escapism, you know, to, to what with the challenges that we're facing in, you know, in today's world. Um, we, we find that this sort of resonates in a, in a way where it's something new and something different. You can kind of just sort of switch off from the outside world and immerse yourself in, in Vincent's paintings. He's got, you know, very vibrant artwork, so it lends itself well to this kind of medium and this kind of immersive experience. The stall seating has been taken out, the stage has been extended, so it'll be the audience treading the boards now, immersing themselves in an exhibition which has travelled the world, a real coup for the Hippodrome. On March the 16th, I was sent down here to report on the last-minute cancellation of a performance as Boris Johnson announced lockdown. Then the Hippodrome couldn't have predicted it would be still shut, but this exhibition gives staff some hope they might have a future. Nearly half the 130 staff have already been made redundant. Those who are left now have something to focus on. The theatre hopes to get 100,000 people through the door, but social distancing rules will be strictly enforced. Until we can reopen as a theatre and stage live performance and sell all 1,800 seats, we're not going to be a commercially viable proposition as a business. But for now, this exhibition is a really great way that we can reopen with COVID compliance and enable people to come in and access our spaces. So these masterpieces are the master stroke to breathe some life onto this long, empty stage. Bob Hockenall, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. Well, we've got some lovely autumn colours developing, have we, in the little bit of sunshine we had. Uh, Shafal is here with the forecast. A painter's delight, I'd imagine. Oh, lovely, yes. A lovely strong palette of greens, russets and yellows. Uh, a beautiful example of that is this picture from Bromyard in Herefordshire. Uh, we've also got an allotment here for uh, our next picture from Cardington in Shropshire. Of course, the gardens and the allotments have done quite well out of the rain so far. We've got more to come, as you shall see. But uh, finally, a lovely picture here from Stoke Edith in Herefordshire as well sunshine seeker finding a little bit of sunshine uh, today but it's all changed we've got a warning in place and that is for uh, heavy rain that will run from nine o'clock uh, tonight until nine o'clock tomorrow morning so it's going to be wet and windy this is tonight into the first part of tomorrow drier later tomorrow and then we've got another band of rain coming through on friday but into the weekend it's looking a lot drier and it's going to be cooler too temperatures dipping as a result of a northerly so uh, here's the uh, warning for you it's uh, between 20 to 30 millimetres of rain that we're expecting, and that's in the worst case scenarios. But it's a blanket of rain that's moving in right now, and it's coming in from the southwest. This is a front that's going to be meandering, winding across. Us. Um, it'll be here for the next 12 hours or so. So there'll be some areas that will start to dry out in the southern half of the region. But underneath that cloud and that rain and very heavy downpours in places, temperatures are holding up to between 9 to 12 Celsius so it is going to be fairly mild compared to last night uh, and those temperatures will skip up to about 17 celsius i think in the south of the region by the time we get to the uh, middle part of tomorrow but that rain swiftly moving through during the morning tomorrow clearing uh, towards the southeast and then by the afternoon it's a completely different picture lots of sunshine and dry weather to be had uh, and temperatures in the north 14 celsius but above average for the time of year wherever you are and then as we head into tomorrow night, well, we've got all of this cloud clearing. So under the clearer skies, temperatures down to about 6 Celsius. So in contrast to tonight, it's much colder, but there'll be more rain to come through on Friday. OK, thanks very much, Richard Farley. Uh, just before we go, a correction to our earlier story. The cancer patient we spoke to was John Smart. Apologies for the error in our report. That is all from Middlesex. I'll be back with your late news, 10.30. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. <laughs>